barrage through. This pistol will be scary. They've gone for a Tech 9 onto Electronic this time round. A little bit of a different look. No P250 for Simple this time. He's going to set up his standard util. This could just be a top pop into Jackson Hunter. They're about to have company, but they're pushing in. An armored Tech 9, the raid boss set up. And Jax isn't up to the task. Hunter at least puts his name in the feed. More they're pressure on him. Does pop ahead. Needed more. Bomb loose on the floor. Nico through the smoke. And a big find. Oh, and he's handing out more than that. A quick click from Simple. And they're multi beacon. That's what G2 needed. Hit the ground running. And destabilize Na'Vi's start. Massive stuff there because you see that smoke towards main. Na'Vi throw that a lot when they do their yard crawls, right? So they're just using one of their standard setups, one of their standard pistols, and they're trying to make it look a little bit different. But that heads up play, aggressive through lobby, they knew it was coming. Fantastic work there on the push. A great call from G2 here early, and they have to convert. Looking like Na'Vi are going to keep this one pretty conservative. A Deagle for simple, a Zeus in the hands of Perfecto, and it will be a, basically a full eco round as far as it goes. Nade, chipped on down. Has already rotated lower here. It is Hamanek to deal with this, and he has an AUG. It's a great weapon for the job. Essentially a second round AWP. Oof, timing on this, how far is Nico gonna push up secret here? Could get multiple kills, they're chilling on the other side, and they found a bit of a gap here. They've actually exploited the one hole that was available. It's this main open. Jackson Hunter are your top side players. Oh, and an answer given to Nico Presence. <gasps> He's looking the wrong way. They're not expecting this, at least not at this pace. Hunter addressing it now. Back to turn. He does snap into another. Quick one out of the simple deep, but kept honest. That was the only thing that could have gone wrong there. So handled against. Great stuff from G2 early. This is what you want to see. A bit of life in them yet. There was real dramas there for a second or two, but they responded. I think there was a sound cue made, a footstep or two. G2 capitalize on that, but now the guns come straight back out. Na'Vi are into the buy here. AKs are plenty, a couple of Galils. Util's good too. Now we know their openings. Molly Top Hut, smoke in front of Squeaky. Space taken towards Yard. They like to do multiple smoke and mirrors across the map here, and they have enough Util to do exactly that. Let's see if they can handle the carnival that is a full Na'Vi buy. Smoke, mirrors, and maybe even some headshots. Bit of a gap here, huge gap to work with, oh. and oh, he slipped on past. Very late on that from Nico. It's enabled Electronic for a lot of control. That will force a rotate. Already next to addressing it. Oh, Bermich too. He's the second man on these yard lurks here, and the smoke is going to fade. The reload. Bermich is aware. He's going to try and catch him off. Nico, just the leg. The cheeky bit of thigh. And that's enough for him to at least put Bermich down. More presence. Amanek forced off a ramp. They can go anywhere with this. They can oh! assault the low sight. Nexa loses his sight. It's on Amanek now. He's pinned. Oh, he's got so much to do. And it's an obvious clear. Steps all over. A headshot presents itself only for a moment. They're hunting him down and silence him immediately. What do you do with your G2? They're through lobby right now. We've got Nico coming down through the secret position. Jax and Hunter over towards Ram. The question is, do they want to save? It looks like it leering back now, just locking down the exits, trying to take away as many of these upgraded rifles as they can, seems to be name of the plan, but that's Na'Vi on the board early here, so bouncing back it was a bonus scenario. You can see now, just upgrading their weaponry here. It felt great after Nico gets the first kill onto Boomich, right? That's one component, but that electronic kill, right? The reason that's so big is because that puts all the pressure on Amanek. He did have a buddy, right, who was meant to be dealing with that part of the map, but as soon as he loses him, as soon as Nexa goes down, he has to worry about both positions, and then they just slowly, slowly creep on in. And you could see how, like, the playbook was outlined for Electronic. He gets across Secret, bides his time, strikes with the first bullet out of his AK. I'm going to be excited to see if G2 want to continue to take the fight. Like, there's no question about the firepower in this team. Hunter, Nico, obviously they are the two at the top of the scoreboard here, but Amanek just showed us he can deliver on the grand final stage. We know Jax, the off angles he likes to hold in some of the bomb sites he plays, throw Nexa into the mix. The, the skill is there, right? There's no question about that. It's just, can we see it? Can we see it manifest right here, right now? And some more aggressive maneuvers could be the answer to that. But here we go, the save. Another buy on through, an important round for both teams. Early utility, Raynum on in. Bit, looks like he wants to go through this. Taking as much space as he can, he's ahead of the smoke and tucked into the vent. Descends silently. 
no one knows. This is massive right now. That rotation will be cut off. You can play with this now if you're Navi. But Havenek up and over. Spotter goes on down. Electronic again. Oh, this is already smelling like a Navi. Second. That's something, though. Nico has silenced the Yard Lurk, and now Bit activates its ramp presence and pressure. Oh, he's not holding it, though. Nico's allowed to get down. Bit's heard this. They're going to hit the brakes right now. Oh, he's going to run straight back into him. Bit could deal with this. You'll hear the doors. Nico knows. Presence in the low sight. And a headshot. He's, he's looking, looking the wrong way! A MAC-10 takes down the prize winner! And already the site falls into disarray. They had to have known that door open. Nexa was right there. Didn't hear it. Didn't react. Hunter. Need this. Hard to find. A messy spray. It'll do. And Jax just doesn't get a chance. Okay. Na'Vi immediately pulled two of their own out of the hat and doing so convincingly. Oof, that one right there, you know, Bit gets let off the hook in that whole situation. You felt like all eyes should have been drawn on his position, deal with him, taking him out of the equation. Could have been a bit of a miscom in that scenario there and it will force a timeout. G2 are going to be taking a timeout here pretty early in the piece and maybe that's exactly why because that rotation, it felt like it should have been on point. I, I like the fact that Nico took the heads up duel towards Yard. This is what we're talking about. This is what the desk is talking about, taking those fights. When you identify where Na'Vi are, they like to play the map control. If you know where they are and you can take the duel, you, you can definitely win it. Nico just showed us exactly that. Yeah, I mean, pound for pound, they've got it in them. This right now is a difficult position for G2 and, and one of the big reasons they would have taken the timeout, right? You, you look at the cash situation, we're talking about three and a half K for some of the members, two for the rest. So it will just have to be a light investment into the pistols here. Now, one of the question marks with Na'Vi is, at what point do they decide to let themselves off the leash? Because they can be very quick. Right, right now, they're, they're doing everything they normally do. The smokes, playing the defaults, getting the map control. But at what point do they just go full Marauder mode? Do they just start marching towards that magic number of 16? If it ain't broke, Chad, don't fix it. Na'Vi just going through the motions now. Should take the lead. And they're just going to walk on here. in. Just walking There's on in. Stack, though. There is potential. But as bodies start to drop, Nexa and Hunter. Oh, hell, hello. Hello, indeed. It's a 1v1. And they're not looking. Ah, ah, Jax. Oh, my goodness. I'm having a heart attack. That right there, straight into the stack. Straight into the sack. You can see it coming from a mile away. You don't clear your corners. You don't get that opening kill. It can all fall apart. It can all come tumbling down. They are so lucky to walk away with that. I said I wouldn't squeal. That right there, you, you can just see it going wrong. Look at all the kills in the feed. Those trades, back, back and forth, and Perfecto saves them there. Perfecto saved them in a massive way. And you can see that would have been a huge, huge round for G2 to win. He opts to drop off. Couldn't believe it. On a silver platter, electronic looking the wrong way, a 1v1 from a light buy. Round six. Kids here on this purchase for G2. They're back on in. And fours are plenty util. It's light on early. They've already had to drop their protocol nade. Setting up for a top pop here. You can see the intention is Nico's taking space towards Yard. Confirming to his teammates that something is coming, but at the same time, they're not going to be able to respond to this. They have to defend top. Jackson Hunter. Tested in a big way, and he passes with flying colors. Jack blind. They don't see him. He'll take both. Back to back doubles. And now an impossible clutch for Electronic. He's sharp, but not 1v5 sharp. He's anticipating. Nico knows, saw that smoke. An electronic waiting for the fight to be brought to him. A smattering of sound cues. Nico in the off angle, good for it. That's really big stuff right there. The fact that it's Jackson Hunter able to lock down that top side, that's really important, right, for the two of them there. Because if those top hits are coming, they need to do exactly that. You know, it has to be one at least. The fact that they both get a double, that's massive work. It's actually put Na'Vi into a bit of an interesting situation here. It's put them into a place where they have to discuss their buy. And, and this seemed too easy, right? Not blind, not mollied out of position. I think they're anticipating maybe G2 to take something a bit more of a risk here, but they just stuck to their guns. And right there you saw Nico finally come into the mix there with that outside play. Already finding some traction towards Yard. Tech Nines for two, AKs for the rest. And space again for Nico. He's calling this one clear. Electronic can go hard in Yard, but not today, Nico. Another one. Locks it down, smokes himself for the reposition. He can just hang around as they fade. Boomer just taking his place. They're in lobby already. Look at this. this look massive. Massive. Oh, they're not ready. Perfecto looking the wrong way, and so is Jax. This is ridiculous. 
The bodies, though, are dropping. Na'Vi are light on players, just bit and simple. And already advancing, suddenly looking a bit messy. G2 have to lock it down. Simple and Bit working together, this partnership, this dastardly duo. And Amanek will be tested, falls off after the first. He can cool himself down, Simple, to turn it around. Ready for it. And that's the end of that. Handled. G2 taking care of business and look at exactly what they're doing. They're taking the fight. They're not giving the space to Na'Vi now and this is what you want to see. Pushing yard, pushing lobby, taking the fights, making it stick. That's exactly what they're doing here. Humbled early and G2 have a chance to grab two consecutive rounds here. Make it three. And you consider how close that eco was not that long ago. Bit of momentum taken out of Na'Vi here. Yeah, and I do think it really sweetened the deal. Even though you've, you lost the 1v1, you straight after that proved you can hold it with guns. Well, this is just going to be a couple of pistols upgraded into again. Some Deagles, P250s, blocks, and G2's round now. Shots, warning. Fly by the head of Amanek there. He's going to tuck tail, dip on back. Play a little bit safe. And Nico again, you've been watching him play. He's such an important member of this yard position here. Just as much as Electronic is for the T and CT sides, Nico's that same man. Parking the bus towards yard, hoping to take a little bit of a glance, boost it on up. He's just pre-aiming for the boost on red, which could be next. They've seen enough, they're dropping on back. They have a smoke and a flash in the hands of the electronic here, so they have enough to make this round work. Oh wow, the crosshair placement is sublime. It's lucky, very lucky there that electronic hasn't died. He has the util, he's the only man that can fake this out, and he is right now. Next to be tested here. Oh, and he's going to drop back it. immediately. Hunter be oh. tested. Wow. Look Quick thinking. Closes the door. Saves himself. They have ramp room. And they can go towards hell if they desire. They're the about this. The orb. This could be problematic. That's a very, very good smoke there from Amanek. 30 seconds. Navi have to make a move here. They need to go down. Nico can address this as well. Simple aware. That's where he lingers. Hard shots, but he's tapping heads. Lovely find from Nico. Nine frags on the board, and the rest fall into Jax's hands. Now we're cooking. G2, flawless round. That's what you want to see here. Just no, no issues dealing with that, and they totaled up, right? This time round, they knew what weaponry they were up against. They played the percentages right there, took it a little bit passive. of the chance and as we do take a quick pause why don't we take a quick stock I mean I'm hearing a lot of Na'Vi chants do we have Na'Vi fans in the house raise your voices now I'm sure the silent G2 fans to your left and right might have something to say about that G2 fans are you present too close to call himself 13 rounds away from closing this out. Now we did have a bit of a tech issue, now we're into attack. This is where Blade will be able to get on the mic. Now every time he's chimed on in, it's changed the tune of the game. So what's the mastermind, the man with the plan? What's he gonna call, what's he gonna change? Money is there for Na'Vi now. We just witnessed the full eco, or, well, as close as we get these days. Nico, the man on your screen, finding impact again. He did the same thing early on Ancient. He was present, finding kills. He's got nine to his name, and Hunter's awake this time too. Seven for him out the gates. Worth highlighting already, AK kills. Early into this piece, he scavenged some T weaponry. His favorite weapon. Yeah, and finding that one-shot headshot. A real boon to the CT headshot, and CT holds. Game on, round nine. Yard again. Amanek was so crucial to G2 being competitive. But this is Na'Vi's yard takes we're talking about. He won't get Big many chances. Here. Huge gap on that. Lot to work with here. Flashes back and forth to make room. Smoke has dropped. They're getting across towards Secret. Electronic has the space. And he has teammates with him. Simple and Pumich coming on down into Nexer. He's unable to get the first. Electronic stops him in his tracks. Oh, and he's forced to watch, Chad. 
forced to watch as Na'Vi pursue their fourth. This is difficult now. We've already seen what G2 do. They start to push towards Lobby. They try and take the fight. Flash towards Yard indicates they're having a look at least. Util drop towards top and well, Nico, the man, he's just been tasked to go and take all this room. Hunter. Doesn't have a smoke or an incendiary. He will not be able to hold them at bay with the spray. Not three, but it's only electronic. He's got a limp in the low site. Bomb on his back, a lot of responsibility. Bit to join him, perhaps down the vent. They've got two top sight though, what's going on? They could come back up now. The fact that they've called this clear is an avenue back on in. No smoke to get on out. Amanek already towards the lower side of things with that AWP, and now Nico pushing elsewhere, trying to take back some more room. 30 seconds, Navi have to make a call. But with the bomb still decon. Oh, and Amanek. Perfect! And Electronic's just better! What a shot, what a round so far. All three for Electronic. The bomb goes down, Nico on the prowl. The barrel is spotted here, and Perfecto is a dead man. Two on two. This one's on for G2. Game time, a couple of flashes. Nico's signature AK, and they're coming their way. Bit to be baited in. Flashed, he has to run away. He's playing it well. And Electronic strikes, distracted, works. And only Nico now. Bomb, half gone. The nade just shy of Electronic. Nico running out of time and health. What a recovery. What a round from Electronic. What a huge round. That first fight against Nexa. No business to win that. Gets the trade back. Hunter does everything he can. But that shot onto Amanek. Show me that. Show we'll me that. We'll see it again. That's an orb, Chad. It's supposed to be Amanek 11 every HP. Day. Look at this. Oh. See you later, mate. Huge round. Oh. G2 back into things here. They're not giving up. Orbs back out for Amanek. Nexa are also forced to watch all of that transpire. He did not like that opening death. Amanek wants to hand some opening deaths to Simple, no less. Beautiful sequence and not quite over yet. Electronic picks up where he left off. Starting to get biffy now. Neither team wants to relent in towards Yard. Amanek, he's just completely gotten out of there. Dropped all the way back, taking the AWP over towards Ramp. This is great stuff from Amanek. He's playing some heads up Counter-Strike here and then Perfecto's on the menu. You clear it. He's diligent. No, barrel. not this time. He's completely for But betrayed by the barrel! Perfecto, perfect on the double! Pressure from Lobby, but they should have this locked down. There's nothing it for G2 other Mubich than aggression. Isolated. The bomb, the bomb's down, Lobby! Buying time. Jax can reposition. He's going all up. He knows Na'Vi will have to slow this down and hard clear. Electronic, he's smart, but will he expect this? The lightning rod, Jax. Coming for Electronic. He's silent. 49 seconds. Oh, oh and Jax has done more. Stepping up when they need him most. Force forward. Bit is low. He could do this. Oh, and he has! One on one. So much hard work from the Frenchman. Can they convert? This is make or break. Hunter, he's had an oopsie or two, but this could be it just to put the cherry on top. 25 seconds now. He can get the bomb, but he doesn't know it. Perfecto, the longer he waits, the better it is for Hunter. He can fly up the vent. He has absolutely no idea right now. The AWP in his hands. 15 seconds remain. Hunter, he's not wincing, he's not moving. Perfecto will have to make steps. Hunter's going to know exactly what's coming. The bomb scoots up. Time is the problem. Does he plan open? No. Just enough time. Hunter starts to appropriately. What a move. Hunt. An impossible one. The AWP is the worst weapon for the job. Hunter to finish what Jax has started. And caught off. Absolutely booked. G2 are here to play on Na'Vi's map. And they're not sure what's going on. Oh, just the bomb there, isolated in lobby. You have to turn your attention to Jax. What a massive round from him. And that aggression again, it's the only answer G2 have had in a lot of these situations. Push in, take the fight. They can win these fights. And the fact that the bomb is the thing that's isolated now, they don't even know what's going on. You can see they want to take ramp control. Right, and this is how it started. Two massive kills here. They just walk on into the den, but Jax, he responds in a big way. This fight right here, Electronic, the fact he was ready for that. And the fact that Perfecto was posted up, but he found a safe haven from the flame. Perfecto just a little lackadaisical, and look what it means to him. What a round from Jackson Hunter, the combo. We're back in a position where Na'Vi have to take another timeout, and it was starting to look good. They, they bounce back after three consecutive rounds here. Now, this is the T side. You want G2 to be posting a massive haul. 
10 plus rounds and they'd be licking their chops with the score six to four only two rounds the difference navi they're not going to give up just yet the ak's are back out in the hands of three tech nines again and we've already seen a round like this i was just watching their mouths moving on the big screen it's only nico a lot of discussion three ak's it's very threatening same smokes boomage up to no good Again, another test for Hunter. Util to get him through. And there are blinds. They are sat down. Jax kept humble. Just the one from him. And it's an AWP. What's he supposed to do? Top side lost. Could be simple as that and a save here. Just the top execute into that play and they're going to have to hold on to the guns. We spoke about the fact that Hunter and Jax stole them out once. Well, they haven't been able to do it again. This time the execute works. And kills again through Electronic, who's having a great map here. 11 kills early. But for G2, again, it's about saving these weapons, right? They need to make sure that they can stay viable here because once Na'Vi break you, they break you in half. They make sure that they're going to keep that pressure on this economy throughout. So G2 holding on to all these weapons is important, very important for them. It doesn't look like Na'Vi want to borrow this either. They didn't come in with the best of buys. They will walk away with the upgrade for bit here. And they are away, so save stuff. But G2 are still in a really good position here, right? This isn't them done and dusted just yet. It's not blood in the water. They're not stiffing this one out. Spy's not bad. So we might see Nico operating with a Deagle here. Now that's... Uh, Signature weapon along with the AK. Gonna need a magic moment out of him. Has a very, very difficult job to do it. Towards main, squeaky blown open. Molly back, held at bay early here. They're going top again. It's looking like the set piece one more time. So suppressed. You just gotta impress. Already flashed off. Simple breaks into the site. Jax has got so much to do. And only the FAMAS, but they do find the frags. Utter chaos on this top site. An electronic thrust into a one versus three. Lobby lost, clears the site, swallows the flash. Unspotted. Not the expecting, clears it on the fade. Panic over. And that's going to be disastrous for Na'Vi. They haven't been able to find two consecutive rounds since round five. Yeah, uh, G2 continue to step up, right? They continue to step up. That situation right there was an MP9 and a Deagle with the same guns. The fact that they're able to dispel that themselves is huge. And, and this time they had so many more bodies towards top. I think that the yard aggression that we've seen has stalled Na'Vi out from wanting to go yard. Because if they're going to get four early, they're thinking there's a gap towards the top side. Well, denied this time round. So we are going back and forth, right? Tip for tat. This is really good. Another timeout call for Na'Vi. Right? I, I can't remember the last time I've ever seen them call three timeouts in the first half. This is, you know, a lot of timeouts called in a row here. Now, you understand why. That CT side is where they should be able to do more of their better work. But remember, when it was against Vitality the other day, the CT side is where they had struggles. It's where it felt like Apex and Vitality had figured them out and they had to change their setup where Blade came in. was a big component of that. Three timeouts in the first half of their undefeated map since May is an indicator that G2 are doing something right. Yeah, they're definitely putting the, putting the heat up, turning it up a notch or two. We're back on in, time's trickled on down, and away we go. Again, two Tech Nines and three rifles. So this is a pretty standard buy for Na'Vi here. Early smoke's being thrown from Simple as a bit of a ruse. They're continuing to take this yard position. If Nico stays aggressive, he continues to look. He's going to call this one clear. They're looking for the same play again. Bits out. He's good at this. If he can get himself down. Oh, not silent. Didn't catch the ladder in time, so they are aware. Yeah, and Nexus responding to this, but Jax again. Lobby aggression one more time. Perfecto is waiting for that. He bides his time. Two tech nine. Still worried about that. Bit of presence and all he's doing is just locking down the rotate ramp is the only avenue other than secret for these CTs to address the site and hits up to Amanek. Easy. Plucks Perfecto from the sky. Is here for good measure. Handled. Navi needs simple here. Oh, and that's exactly what he needs. More of that. Jax again is in heart. He's still posted up aggressively, and Jax the bomb dropped again. 
his signature so far in this CT side, getting it done for the team. 35 seconds left. It's going to be a two on three situation. Navi, if they want to get in this, they will have to get a move on now. And Jax is continuing. They may not be this. Oh, Jax. This is beautiful. Magnifique. Beautiful start from the Frenchman. Fantastique. That's two rounds where it looks like Na'Vi have got legs to it, and then Jax kills that bomb carrier. It's the key, again. We're really pushing this home, but it is the lobby aggression. Na'Vi can't seem to solve this, and it's through this one man on your screen. 17 kills for him now. He's an old boy, right? There's no doubt about it, but his aim is as crisp as you like. Some massive shots here, and just dealing with it, getting it done. And now Na'Vi just down to some light pistols here. They are up against the ropes. Surely not. Vecto pays a heavy price. He's got the bomb. That's perfect, though. You cannot plant now. It's cancelled by the flames. And it's too low. Ramp. Extinguish. Up to next. A multi-kill required. And he'll take all three. Bomb plant now. Can be contested. He's going to run him down. Look at him go. He's got his Nikes on. He's just charging in. He can't can stop it. But that should be the end of Perfecto and the round. Only simple. And he's hunted from every angle. There you have it. Not only winning the half, but bringing it up to nine on the CT side, Chad. How likely is the 10th. It's looking really good here. Um, this type of counter they're playing right now, now it's definitely rumbled now. They're not going to, well, I, I couldn't imagine them taking another timeout here. You're not going to do that going into the final round of, of the first half with another timeout. So they're going to have to do this one on their own. What is the solution that they can find for this lobby aggression? They tried to go fast top, they've been denied, right? It's about a 50-50. They are unable to get it with these yard calls. Quite literally, Amanek and Nico have scared them from their standard gameplay. Right, the last couple of rounds they've had, they haven't been sending Electronic out there. When they have, he's been fucked off. He's been losing to that aggression. So we're flipping the script here. We're we going back to regular programming. It's squeaky blown open, pestering towards main again. It's such a top-heavy play. There's just no yard presence at all. Simple smell, throwing smokes. It's all the ruse. They're out squeaky. They have the space, but bit. He needs to be quiet about it this time. Beautiful. Amanek has no idea. Absolutely oblivious. So much pressure onto the leader's shoulders as well, because Nex has got a whole three members at bay. The trophy room smoke will fade. Easy there, soldier. He's gone the wrong way. Amanek is still posted up in secret, and Jax is still in towards lobby. The bomb is late towards the ramp. They have so much information here. It's Nexus turn again, oh. and he's passed with a huge shot there onto Perfecto. But Bear, oh, he gets them both! Nexa called upon, he does go down from the grave. Jax again. Oh, they're not even checking him. Doesn't expect simple, but it is only simple. And he's looking flustered. Oh, no, so at least a Im implication that he knows where he is. And Hunter partners up nicely. That is 10, folks. G2, not intimidated. A map down. And ten rounds. Great first half. Absolutely great first half. And you have to look, look at Jax. You have to turn all your attention to Jax for those swing rounds, right? Sure, Hunter had to close one of them out, but Jax just the kills that he's been getting, the performance he's having in this map. The death spoke about it, right? You can play this grand final, you can play this matchup ten times, right? Say G2 win one or twice. Well they only have to win one or twice. It's the grand final. This is the one that matters. And if a player has an anomaly performance like Jax right now, what are you going to do? It doesn't matter if Nico's not there or Hunter's not there. If Jax is doing this, you still have to stop him. And he's known to walk into sites first at times. Loves it, loves it, he loves it. But we're getting this pistol round underway here. Sees that in the hands of Perfecto. Nade for Boomich. No defuse kit here if we get into a post plant situation. Hunter has some light util and there's a P250 for Nico. That's the lay of the land, and the crowd know what this means. G2, they take this. They could be sailing and sending us to a third. Oh, he's equipped with the perfect weapon for this, but Simple takes down Nico in a head-to-head -head clash. It's a bit on ramp. He's tested. He's good for the headshots himself, but he's going to have to give up control. Ramp taken, and they are quite loud and quick about this. Simple trying to keep him at bay with a sound cube, but already flying up the ladder. This has to be Boomich. Just about gets one. Threatening, though. Threatening indeed, and they spotted out. Simple. They're locked out. Next has already cleaned the site. It was only electronic. I say that. Perfecto has been humbled as well. Getting flanked. Hunter has this every day of the week. It's a two on three. And from up the ladder as well. Lobby doesn't get his shots, and that's surely the end of it. Only simple. Amanex up in the rafters. He should have him dead to rights. Simple. Deleted. 
Oh, and that, that will only get the palms a little more sweaty on the left-hand side of the stage. They've used three timeouts already, Chad. How long before they call the last? This is a recipe for success right now. It's both pistol rounds right now for G2. We've actually seen Na'Vi go for more conservative approaches in the second, especially on their T-halves. So right now, the question is, will it be a force fight? Well, we can answer that. The Deagles are out, the 5.72, the armor's there, and the Util's light, but Na'Vi, they're really up against it here. Nico is one man on a mission. He's been on a major grand final stage before. Familiar territory. There's two players lower here, about to have a car crash. Nico needs these. He was ready. Can he collect? Oh, the warning shot, and he does collect. Beautiful stuff. He's low, but that should be the round right there. Bit Boomage Perfecto, the only players left alive here. Left to be a real slip up right now from G2. They've got full control of this yard, and they can go anywhere they want. Secret stairs open for business. Main. They've rotated lower. Uh, G2 have won this round. Just by the positioning alone here of the CTs, this should be G2's round. Perfecto, the only man on the upper deck. They can just walk on in, take their time, but the bomb's heading down secret, and Boomich is here. Oh, he's got the bomb, though. This is, this is a risk. Boomich would have to kill all three of them to make this interesting. Not had a great time here on Luke. He's given a nice early warning. Nico trying to draw the crosshair away. Boomage, one clip of the CZ, two, not the third. And the bomb's still been spotted out. They are going to pincer her in from ramp as well. If they stick to their guns and head lower here, this might fall apart. Perfecto's not looking back. Turn, he's going to go down. Warning shots are there, and Hunter throw <gasps> forward. Perfecto oh! is mid. They light them up from out of nowhere, and now it's Nexa. He could go top site. Na'Vi on the force, on the back foot. Rotations are on the way. Weapons are hoovered up. Nexa to save G2 from a bit of an embarrassing one here. Brilliance on the pistols from Na'Vi. No kit, they have to be quick about this. You're not blown off. Sound cue, it's a nightmare here. It's going to be an absolute nightmare. You can only go through HUD. On the 10 seconds, start the countdown. Bit will finish the job. And Na'Vi say, we ain't done yet. Gap to be closed now. They were absolutely begging for it. And G2, they stick so stubborn to the B commit. The gamble stack lower. I didn't think there was any way in the world it would pay off. They had full control, right? They went around to hell. They had control of that part of the map. And Boomich, I said three to make it interesting. Well, two. Turns out it's enough when you got teammates like this. Perfecto gets peppered down to 14. Close lines, Hunter and Bit. Of course it's Bit. Two more headshots to get them across the line, and 11-6, the score reads here, it's G2. They don't want anything to do with the Force by Wars. How Just is one this? P250 in their hands. I thought they would contest. I thought they would go for this every day of the week. They got the bomb down. They had decent cash, as far as you know, getting out the Tech Nines, a pocket strat, something cool. They're going to allow Na'Vi here to get up to seven. Blade's been talking about bit. You know, when he's asked, how does this guy stay so cool and calm, collected? He, he has not seen the crowd, by the way. He just stares at that pixel of his crosshair. Well, here he is again. Just zoned in. Doesn't look up. Doesn't avert his gaze. Stays ready. Bang. Oof. And a lovely collection. Simple. There's one way to get an ace. Up against the Eco, but a confidence booster for the superstar. Farms five, not even going to break a slight wry smile, but seven. As Na'Vi are starting to find their feet. It's a bit unfair there, Simple. Let Bit have the kills next time round. Right, let him have the Ecos. This is his ramp. He just rocks up. Yeah, mate, thanks for the nade damage. I'll take this. 30 bullets of pain and see you later. The Eco bash doesn't even shrug it off too easy. AKs are back out here in G2. They're still in the driver's seat of this. Na'Vi have a lot of hard work to do. G2, they've been refining this game plan. They have a lot of tape to look at, a lot to study, a gap in the gap. smoke. Huge gap. Electronic will be staring at that. Drawn in, maybe. Simple is two. The Jack's beheaded. We need the trade. Amanek unable to deliver it. It's only Nico with a slight 
glimmer of hope for their T-side campaign. Round 19 and already in a bit of a tailspin. A pistol wind chance. Has another chance here. Bit's going to have a look, I think. And he does find another headshot. Low HP, but undeterred. Hunter lingers here in the hard time. Is of the essence. And more contact for Nico. We actually spot the descent of Boomich. That's huge. That's a lot of information right now. They need to scoop up the bomb, right? But it's still a minute on the clock. They have a lot of details. They know Boomich is dealing with the lower side of things. Electronic and Perfecto are being squeezed right now. And Nico, sure, he's low. But it doesn't matter if the AK keeps landing exactly like that. More territory taken. No one's watching ladder. It's all going to come down to the timing here, right? They still need to get that bomb. Nexus just picking it up right now. You have 35 seconds roughly remaining on the clock. You have one smoke to work with. Looks like they're turning their attention towards that ramp position. Now, if they're able to use that smoke towards decon, Boomich is completely locked out of this. He'll have to drop one of his own, and he'll have to play in the chaos. 20 seconds now. Footsteps are heard. They can start rotating lower, but it's really on Boomich to try and deny anything he can. I'm just planning this. Oh, oh that's they, they've loved that. OK, door to be swung open. Attention drawn. Descent is on its way. And three versus three. A powerful angle. Nico needs a fresh mag. Even trades as he brings the fight to them. Oh, and he's not found it. Hunter has to come up clutch when one Kovac fails. The other fills the void. That's magnificent from Hunter. Delivers when his cousin couldn't. And a 12th secured. The T side is given a little bit of life. Combined right there, the two of them, a huge round from Nico, right? The fact that you could just see Bit have a little bit of a look. All he's doing is having a little bit of a look. And Nico rips his head off, absolutely destroys him. And that's the key to the round, because at that point, if you're Navi, you don't have the antis. If you've lost Yard, right, you have so much pressure coming in from around you. And that's well played from G2 under pressure. That started with an electronic double, right? Remember, it started with an electronic double, and the only man who bounced back was Nico. He set them up in that position. I thought that smoke was going to be their undoing, but they're able to actually use that to advantage in the one-on-two situation. So great stuff here, and we'll get the highlights again. That's great onto Sybil. He gets another kill there from the top deck. So Nico's done so much on low HP. I mean, just the two of them getting the job done. That's just all five frags. You can see the frustration, and then Hunter relieves all of that tension. You can see his face absolutely rife with fear, and that is the opposite of fear. <laughs> All right, now the buy's back out for Na'Vi here, but if G2 win this round, it's almost a, a red carpet to get themselves towards that 16. You have to look where the loss bonus is at for both teams. G2 lose 1,400. Na'Vi lose 1,900. Right, right now, they're both in dire straits. One is going to open the door for a Na'Vi comeback. One is going to put G2 in the prime position. Simple into the big green. Up and over. Nico's oh. fast on this. Whoa, this is aggressive. He fancies it. It was already knocking on Boomich and it finds Hut. Top site surely open for business. G2 sail towards the 13th. Simple and his AWP though have been known to oh, ruin some Jax. days. Jax again continues to impress. He has been found. Bit is great in the clutch and Electronic has got one with the nade. You can escape just by the skin of his teeth. Bit. He needs to save. I, I, it doesn't sound like fun, but he needs to save. The fact that they went for that, they lost everything. He might lose it all. Hunter on the AWP and see you later. Is this real life? Absolutely wrecked right there. Huge stuff. Hunter, it's up to 20 kills. Jax, yeah, 21 for him. And this right now, this is where Na'Vi are actually going to start to sweat. They're under the pump. This should be 14 coming forward. And Nico, he's coming alive, right? These two gun rounds. We talk about impact, those two gun rounds back to back. The way that he's been able to get his team into rounds, they've just sent him on a mission. Find us an opening kill, and we can do the rest. And they have done. Pistols out for Na'Vi here. I honestly believe Na'Vi thought, with Ancient in the bag, that Nuke was where this final ended, and G2 are changing the dialogue. Looking flustered, frustrated, electronic court. Piecing together the must-have 14. They're doing it the hard way, G2, but they're still doing it. It's going to be quite the comeback. Remember where the scoreline's going to be at. Unless Na'Vi can grab themselves, right? You consider the rounds they've won on this CT half as well. One of them was, was with a pistol, it was with the four spies. This situation right here, 2400 in the next round, the buy's not going to be great. There's not going to be an orb. They're not going to have everything they need. The scoreline should read 14 to Ooh. 7 here. Yeah, Muff Molly, not the end of the world. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> Good for the headshots. Is bit even on the USP double dink collects just the one. I'm gonna get 
Oh, quick snap out of that. AK-47, Simple Steagle starting to warm up, but only for a moment. 14 secured, couple of scary moments in there for good measure. But there has been a huge, a gargantuan swing in the momentum of this series. And the G2 fans raising the roof, they know just how close G2 are to pushing us all the way. Two more rounds now. 14-7, the scoreline reads. Don't forget that anytime soon. He's going to slow down for a moment here. Boost into lobby, ready for some aggression. Expecting a change of play here from Na'Vi, but they're sticking to their guns. Standard setup. They have lots of space. There's been no smokes thrown. They haven't forced rotations. Right now, Na'Vi are waiting before they can react. Jax really pulled G2 into a 10-5 half. Now looking to set up to do what he does best. It's all based around this util, denying the information as to how many have crossed. Electronic will have no answers. Attention drawn, three CTs addressing this utility. Creeping up now into main, looking likely for a top split here. It's about to gear up. Doesn't clear his corners, and Boomich kept humble. Just the one. It's up to Perfecto, and simple from the heavens. Has to find more, it's electronic and simple, a potent concoction of fraggers. Bit for good measure. 30 seconds, Jax is calling the site clear. Simple last spot in heaven. It's not going to be an easy plant. Lots of gaps right now, they're giving them so much room now, B. Ramp control, sure. Electronic has dropped towards B. He's going to be late to the party, and it is simple at heaven. He has to wait for his teammate here. He cannot engage until Electronic is in the vent and Bit is ready towards lobby. Nexer and Jax to hold down top. Oh, Bit catches Nexer just before he can tuck in, and Jax is not long for this world either. Oh. Zero to 100 right there. Right, it's way too quiet. It's way too quiet. G2 had no information, literally no idea on where these players were coming from. Sure, you have a good idea that maybe it's the heaven, maybe they're coming through main, but they all came in at the exact same time. So beautiful stuff from Navi on the retake there, but this is still a pressured environment. The kills didn't go their way initially. Right, traded efficiently onto the uh, top side G2, but then they were swarmed, they were pushed, they were pressured. No timeout called here from G2. They're in a position where they can get a bit of a buy going here, so can bring out some AK, some Galils. Nexa can purchase, Aminek can do the same. This is not over just yet, Na'Vi can't take a breather. Gonna need to continue to put these rounds together. Still no AWP for either side in this. It's gonna be a slow start again, or are they gonna change up the pace? G2 are in the driver's seat, right? They get to decide what gear they wanna take this game at. I honestly believe Na'Vi have forgotten what it feels to be this far down on this map. This is uncharted waters for them. They need a spotless defense, Chad. Round 23. If the context of the fact they haven't lost this map since May isn't enough, Na'Vi are currently undefeated in the Major. They have not lost a single map throughout. G2 in the Grand Final, looking to be the first team to do it, but Electronic says no, oh. standing up, spamming on down. That's one and a half kills now. Yeah, already. Next are operating at 46. But what's He's got his knife now, just walks through the smoke! Boomage, aware. Two-man advantage, and Perfecto is ready to collect. Next are not looking the right way, and this one petering out, ready for it. Hunter, at least finding one. Stops the record from being completely clean, and that's the end of that. Right, we might need to take some inventory right now of the way that these last couple of gun rounds have gone. Right, we, we need to take stock on what's happening because it's how we're going to theorize what G2 are going to do going forward. And, and Na'Vi are having the same conversation. These slow rounds where they're giving a lot of space to Na'Vi, not working. Right, and Na'Vi are happy to sit back and take the fight. Think about the rounds where Nico ran outside and just took heads off. Right, he dropped quickly onto, onto main, he dropped in towards main, gets the top hut kill. He ran out yard, he gets an opening kill onto simple, he continues to push the issue. So a little bit of pace is likely to come on out in the next gun round. But this is an eco, and if you're an RB, you want to get to double digits. You want to make sure you don't drop oh, a lot, and what? check that one out. Rewind the stream, watch that one again.
That is something else. Yeah, Electronic is right. He's fully robotic. Bang. Oof. Jax swallows it. And one to finish the job. Oh! <laughs> well, first they ace the eco. And now they're hitting shots like this. It doesn't look like Na'Vi are giving up Nuke without a fight. Right now, Simple, he's taking the top of the scoreboard here. 22 kills for him, but a couple of those are those eco frags we were talking about. It's Electronic who has been the man with the plan. Hey, I'll spray one too. Steadies his aim, repositions, has a moment and continues to kill them. Electronic just dancing right now, having a great time towards Yard. It's Boomich's turn as well. Amanek, the P250, and Boomich takes his double. This is where we see the change up, right? There's no money right now to go for an AWP unless they want to go glass cannon. So do we still see that pace? And G2, they have been able to call on Nico towards Yard. Here's this one again. Boop. Just spotted, oh. bang. The adjustment there, great stuff from Electronic. But do we see the pace change? And a timeout taken, the third for G2 now. Both teams after this one, they have one timeout left in the bank. Both coaches are going to get on the mic. That's also going to give Blade an opportunity to steady the ship. But so far, remember, I wanted you to keep mind of that scoreline, 14-7. Now we're sitting at 14-10. How long until G2 post a round? And those nerves of knowing you could be the team to take a map off of Na'Vi on Nuke, the first team to take a map off of Na'Vi at the Major. It's a lot on the line here. And you're telling me that no one in the history of 16 Counter-Strike Majors has lifted the trophy without dropping a map. This has never been done before. If Na'Vi are able to complete this comeback, get the sweep, get the 2-0, they'll be the first team in Major history to get this done. Let's make some noise! We're back in. Is there the pace change from G2 here? That's the question. Fast smokes towards Yard, and of course, Nico's leading the way. This fight right here could define this round. Flashing forward through the molly. He's going for it. Oh, I don't think Electronic's ready for this. Maybe now. No, looking the wrong way. Nico's already through, and Nexa catches him. A blind spray. Nico immediately takes the space he knows Electronic occupies. That's massive. He this can is so go much room early. We've got a minute 30 on the clock, and he's already taken all this space. When they rotate back, if they head back towards Hell, they're going to push Lobby. They're changing this one. Thinking about the boost, changing conversation. They need to make a decision now. They know Trophy could be tested and Ramp as well. Jax got a lot on his plate here on the as the lobby holder, but he's got a premonition. He's aware of the potential as Nico's about to clear the site. They're not looking. Perfecto. Oh, slipping in. Jax delivers. G2 set for success and he's still patient. Next up, does deliver onto Simple. That's the bomb. Bit. Maybe he could finish the job with the incendiary. Does they? Oh, he just pushes in and Jax collects. They have to wait out the molly at the bare minimum, but this looks like a 50. And they're all alive here. And, and look, it wasn't through Nico, but his pace, it allowed it. Nexa there from the heavens, able to open this one up. And Boomich, the only man standing. Can they find him? Can they get this kill too? Amanek, he's looking the right way, but Boomich, he course corrects with the spray. Damage, if he can, is best, but this is still 15. This is still 15 now for G2. Wow. The G2 Samurai readies their katana to slice through not only the undefeated dreams of Na'Vi's major lift, but also to force a third. Mirage up next. Mirage. And the individuals, the desk talked about it. We will have time as the final timeout is called. Blade is last 30 seconds on the mic before this concludes. And this is where we might get the difference maker here. Simple's brought out the AWP, and that's been a big issue. If Yard continues to be pressured in that way, the AWP could change that. But they still need to stop Nico from getting the space. He's doing a great job here. The crowd is begging for a third map. Well, let's all get ourselves onto the very edge of our seat as we see if a third is on the, car on the cards. Or in the cards. Yeah, well, that one, it's up for debate. Had that conversation a couple of times. But here we go, 10 seconds left of freeze time. It's going to be that maneuver again. This is the kill to open up the round and almost sealed the death warrant for Na'Vi in it. They pushed on forward, it looked desperate. You can see from bit they're very desperate. Right? They, they had to go for the kills and cleaned up. But here we go again, smoke in the air, front of Squeaky. Not What's going to be the, the fast yard play. They're actually changing things up. They might want to go either ramp or top. They're going in, there's a MAC-10 in the hands of Amanek. This might be quick. There's a reason his sticker reads Amanek 10. Here we go. Here he comes, bouncing into the side. They're looking the wrong way. He will find one. Perfecto has a smoke to play around already. Repels the invaders. Bit comes in. 
but Nico does too. Is it really happening? Two headshots. You'd need a whole lot more. Simple catches him off and we play on. It was simple on that AWP. Partners up with Bit as well to repel. They need five in a row, Chad, to keep the dream alive. I like the calling here from G2, though. The, the fact that they're going for an uppercut like that, a top pop, this is the type of counter you want to see. When they divert it back to the slow plays, they thought Na'Vi would get desperate. They haven't. Now G2 can continue to do this, and Nico is hitting some absolute bangers, and of course he does. Of course he does. Well, he's they're not, still in it. He's not giving it up. Amanex into a MAC-10 again, so maybe, just maybe, it's another similar pace field play, but Nico, again, going to make his way through yard. Hunter's found the first this time round. The Domino's starting to tumble. He slipped through. Nico, that is. Not sure if it was a secret. There was a gap in the smoke. And you can see Simple is addressing the potential. A gorgeous AWP and ready to wreak havoc. Be batting down the hatches. G2 from sub one minute. They know where the AWP is, they can react quickly. They can pounce towards topside now, knowing where the AWP is. This is a big fight. Electronic gets one. He's done a lot there and now tested onto the top side, ready for Hut. Perfecto's in a prime position, and Jax has gone down too. Despite the opener, Navi lock it down. 12 is found. They do not surrender. It changed again for G2 there. They get the opening, they hit the brakes. They're expecting this aggression. Navi aren't giving it to them. They've done it one time, but now they just sit back, they wait. The clock melts on down. And G2, they do their best to break into the top side. But Electronic again, an absolute menace here. 22 kills for him, and I feel like his have been the most impactful so far. Alex on the mic, and we mentioned the last time out for Na'Vi. This is the last time out in the server. No more now, and if Na'Vi complete this comeback, we will have to finish this in overtime. Money broken. Three more chances. Lost bonus, 2,900 going into the next. A half by. And the crowd knows what this means. Na'Vi have to steady themselves here. It could be something a little avant-garde with just Tech Nines. A little off the beaten path. Making it look like a gun round with this utility, but they're setting up the pincer top again. This is going to be fast. Na'Vi, can you stop them? Fecto tested, he's safe, and Anti, nice catch, and averts his gaze at the perfect time. Now it's only, oh my god, Hunter. He kicks open the sight, spots Simple's toes, and oh my smoke. god! Electronic caught! Simple baits it! His leg stuck through the smoke, Simple to save them! Drive by onto Nexa, two frags away from G2, extending play. Hunter and Nico, how poetic! And it's Simple and Bit. Times it to perfection. And Simple sitting no! down! No! Disaster! The shot. An absolute disaster! That was it! That, that was, was the game! It, Chad, that was it! Mirage was one click away! Oh my! Unthinkable! Nico doesn't miss! Nico doesn't miss! No! Na'Vi, they, they fight on! And you can see that, that with no timeouts! No timeouts, if that's not going to shatter your morale. You knew what the difference of that kill was. How do you not, how do you not be thinking about that into Oi. round 29? Keep it out of your mind here. Two more chances. Two more chances. And guess what? That was just a partial investment. Now the AKs come back out. Do it again. Do it with the guns. Next, I got an absolute intervention from God with that catch onto Electronic. There's no way he was aiming He's never for getting that, that position. Again. He's never, never getting aiming that again. for that at all. It's the footsteps he heard. Hunter as well, two big kills on the way in the door, but here we go again, the onslaught of G2, it doesn't stop. 
Has that broken them or do they know what's on the line here? I'd be scared to shoot simple in the back from now on. They're setting up for it again. Nico towards Yard, setting up just with all this pressure towards the top. You can tell they want to pop. You can tell they want to keep this pressure. The totem pole, the stack to deal with any aggression while they wait out the protocol utility. Navi set up. They've already sent one man towards the lower side of things. Simple in the vent with the AWP. More nades thrown, more time bought. This would be a great time for Jax to have one of those rounds. Can Nico be the hero again? The smoke walls are out. How does Simple respond to this? This could be the difference maker right now. He's all the information. The coast is called completely clear. Simple saw nothing. Electronic neither. They can start rotating. They can hedge their bets. Boomage perfecto. They're locked down top. Electronic, if he can get there to help things out. They're flustered, Chad. Just Simple's coming too. They're calling the bluff. They're calling the bluff. And, They're calling the and roll into the site already. The double delivered. Navi in hot pursuit of overtime. 1-0 to the good, and heavily, heavily hunted by G2. Locking it down, a perfect round, there's nothing left of them. Just Hunter, and he's the last to fall. A 10-5 half, Chad. A 2v2, Chad. So limp, it's so limp right there, that, that yard play. There's no presence, there's no presence whatsoever. Na'Vi, they weren't totaled up, they had all the info, they knew it was clear, they had four players towards topside to lock that down. They're the ones under all the pressure here. They're the ones who have to take this to overtime. The guns are out. It's the last chance saloon for G2 now. The MAC-10 for Amanek. Nexa into the Galil. The AKs for the rest. Na'Vi strapped to the good. AKs are plenty. Electronic taking a risk. Heavy yard straight towards secret. And again, they've been able to get on in with some early space. All of this funny business with a wall of smokes is redundant now. But the thing is, they've tested top so many times that maybe, just maybe, they want to try ramp. And if they do, Simple's there now. Simple's there now with the AWP. Looking for his second 30 bomb. In they are two coming. grand They're finals, coming. and already affixes another to They're the wall. They're not stopping! They do accelerate, he acknowledges, tucks on in. Ramp is lost, rotations are around. Na'Vi, four frags away from securing OT, and Bit doesn't miss! Two headshots, G2, counting on Nico and Nexa. Anything left, a stylish one out of Perfecto, Nico. He's gonna be pushed to OT, or can he claw something oh! out? The two, down, two to go! Nikola Kovac looking to secure an ace clutch. Seventeen bullets in that AK-47, yet too long, but he has relocated. Simple acknowledging that potential. You have to react to that door. Simple swings it open. He's got the bomb in his hands. He has to plant. Simple finds him, and we go over time. Unbelievable scenes in the Avicii Arena. Navi do not surrender, and Nuke remains undefeated for now. What can you say about that one, Chad Virgil? What can you say about that one? A 10-5 half, 15 to 10. Look, you see a round like that starting and you think he's got it. You think he has it. You have Nico, who's been heating up, who's been the man to open up these rounds for G2. I mean, they wouldn't be there without him. And with the chips were down, that moment, that was magnificent, the way he just kept his cool, yeah. kept his calm. Simple calls the bluff in that final moment and rips it out of him. Just absolutely rips it out of him. As we take a breath, as we take a moment before we get this overtime underway. MR3, 10K. Financial decisions, they're going to play a big factor this time round.
Remember, I wanted you guys to uh, keep in mind the scoreline. 14 to 7 is where this game lied. It was in G2's hands. It was all theirs to take. And Na'Vi, they brought it back all the way to overtime now. That is some resilience. Just keeping a cool head on your shoulders in the face of adversity. And now, slate wipe clean. None of that playing from the back foot vibe that Na'Vi have been living in. I want to wait till we're back underway here before we start talking too much. Don't want to uh, talk too much strategy while we have a tech pause. Because we take a moment. Stockholm. The world is watching right now. And we're all here for one thing. The love of Counter-Strike. I want you to let the world hear us. Brazilians, Danes, Americans, Russians, Ukrainians. I've seen so many people from around the world, all in attendance, to watch this game played at the highest level. Well, it honestly has not been better than this. Na'Vi, this is seen as their major repeated land successes on the build-up and lead-up. In case you stopped watching over the last two years, this is our third land in two years, the first with a crowd. Those other two, these exact two teams, Na'Vi versus G2, time and time again. And Na'Vi haven't dropped a single map over those three finals. Right now, history could be made. And we're going to have to settle this in overtime. Here we go. We're getting this one back underway. 15-15. The Orbs back out. And the man with the plan, Simple, ripped the heart out of all G2 fans with this one. What a shot from Nico. And this was it. This was it. Through the smoke. And here we go. Show that clip to your mother that says it's just a video game. Got some questions for G2 right now. They look stumped for their T side approach. It was almost done and dusted. Nico again, how much has that shattered him? Does he have anything left in the tank right now? Does he have anything left to give towards Yard? Needs to continue with these openings. Smokes drop. Simple, the man who ruined it in the last on the other side of things, pushing on up. And Whoa. there it is. Nico denies him this time round. Nothing for Simple to contribute into our first round of overtime. Boomich dispatched to fill that gap. They can go anywhere with this, Chad. Pressure's coming. Boomich is lower, but it is looking like they want to turn their attention towards heaven and hell. The yard crawl, it's a standard play. Nico, he's grabbed the AWP, and they're going to mantle their way up. They have to push lobby, but nobody's home. It's so passive right now from Nexa. This is looking great for G2. They will take lobby in response to the loss of yard, but... Uh... He's going to hear that. He's going to hear the footsteps. Building a mental picture as to where the four remain. But look at the gamble. The gamble's towards ramp. And they parked the bus. They've, nu they've just juked them here. Before G2, they went lower, right? They lost the round to their pistols. This time round, they're looking to go top. Aminek can come into main with the bomb. Flash for good measure. This is it. They're going to get in for free. Na'Vi might just be saving in this situation. I know it seems crazy to say, but the first round of overtime might end with a save. Sure. Gamble, I guess it makes sense, right? 10k. Yeah, you have to take a couple of these emissions here as far as the aggression goes. The bomb's going to go down. The 40 second time is going to start. But to G2, they're the ones now in the driver's seat. If they want to hunt, if they want to look for these guns, they can actually throw a couple of bodies their way. And it's not going to be hard to guess where they might be. And I'll be talking this one through to maintain the heavy investments they have made. Don't forget Simple's Orp lies idle now towards Secret. That's a heavy, heavy cost. No, oh, no, no. Nico's picked that one up. This is completely denied. They can't oh. get this back. Nico, by picking this up, not only did he guarantee safe passage towards heaven, he's made it so that Na'Vi can't get that back. And it's the most expensive gun in this situation. They denied the AWP. If you're G2, you don't even have to use it in the next round. You can leave it in spawn. All you're doing here is denying this from Simple. You're putting more pressure on them. And G2 with one kill. The titans of the server go toe-to-toe, -to -toe and Nico takes him down this time. Bittersweet considering where we could have been, but now, first round for G2, and I was worried about them being stumped. 
He's getting spammed through the smoke. He's waited for exactly that. Stunned. Simple. Stunned. He's got him back the AWP. That save is going to be worth its weight in gold as we move forward here. But did G2 have any more answers or is it more of the same? Nico again back towards Yard. Simple the same. Electronic forward this time round. And this could be the fight again. I think he spotted him. Simple operating under that assumption as well. But Electronic's here. He's close. They have to clear him. Oh, we can swing on the box. He certainly can, but they don't. Look the right way. A quick trade. 4v4 quickly becomes 3v2. This is insane. Hunter dead to the nade. No Nexa was Yard. They're picking up the AWP again here. Boosting towards the heavens. Trying to get back some real estate space taken. Amanek wielding the big green. Bits already towards the lower. No broken, no sound cue required. Lots of time right now. Over a minute left on the clock to piece this one together for G2. Two on three situation, and this would just be a huge round now for G2. Navi would be shell shocked again towards the heavens. That will indicate their intention. A one-way boom, which is angle redundant. Perfecto, quite the opposite. Do they have the presence of mind to check this close left? It's never cleared. Paranoid about all the other options. He's turned it, and he's got all the time in the world for this spray. One frag away from Na'Vi returning the favor, and that will do nicely. Spicy there for a moment. They pieced that one together nicely, and Perfecto even fluffed the spam right there. You can see the pressure. It is getting to the individuals in the server. We're back at a level scoreline of 16 16. Simple gets his AWP again. I think it's time you found your voices. This is the business end of overtime. Rinse and repeat, it's all they have to offer here, this yard space. They just have to continue to take it. Variations of smoke walls. Nico again, fast on this. Nade to slow him down. He swallows that 56 points of health. Oh, he's loud about it. Fully blind, but he's just navigated away from Electronic. Nico, you're not going to be ready for this. Not at all. Electronic opens up Na'Vi's account for a 17th here on their last defensive round. They've gambled. They have so many players towards lower right now. Na'Vi just dropped on down towards lower and they're leaving bit. Boomich is rotating away, but all four players are down secret. G2 are walking into the lion's den. They have enough nades to make this one work, but the surprise factor, that could be the difference maker. What corners are they going to clear? The doors wide, wide open. open. Decon side, that's the choice. Space being taken, head spotted, bit. Hunter's down, three to find. 17 looms, Na'Vi. This is a power position for Boomich here. He can shut this down himself. Running out of options, smoke down, counter molly, plenty of time. Amanek, sloping out, he's actually managed to evade them. And he will open up, oh, Boomich, finished off. It's just Nexa and Jax, bomb on their backs. And bit, Molotov out, nice sequence, they need another though, and simple. Opting for the Deagle, the Orc would be fit for purpose. He's ready for both. Time's a problem now. G2 need oh. to make a decision. They have to take oh. a fight. He's so lucky. He's trying to plant. Bump Simple. Denied. Oh, he, he misses. misses! But the bomb didn't go, go down. And now V will take a 2-1 defensive half. Oof. Moments there. It could all go wrong. G2 posturing. They're looking dangerous. Some great shooting right there and some reserved play from now V. Gets them the lead at the half here. Two more rounds for Na'Vi. It's all they need. One to secure double overtime. Two to get this one done and keep that clean sheet. And in record-breaking fashion. It was a great CT half from G2. We probably all forgot about that. It feels like a lifetime ago now. They were able to deal with a lot of the yard crawls. They forced the hand of Na'Vi. They pushed Na'Vi into top site plays. Now it's the mind games. Do we start there? Do we go back to yard? Do we go back to top? And what are G2 thinking? What's their call? No more timeouts, nothing left. No discussions to be had, and here we go. Oh, Electronic knocks Amanek for six. That was the AWP. Aggressive as ever, trying to look over the smokes. Now forced to watch as Na'Vi could be four frags away from securing double overtime at a minimum. 
gap again here for Nico to work with towards main. With Amanek down, it all falls to him. He's done it before. Navi are posturing back towards Lobby, but remember Jax? Remember Jax's aggression here? You can see that in the back of the mind right now with the Navi players. They are so timid in Lobby. So many little jiggles, micro movements here in case Jax pushes. Electronic is still down towards the lower side of things. Hunter tucking in towards the CT vent. Jax now posturing forward again. Smokes sail through the sky as we reach our 60 second mark. G2 are on the back foot still. This is pushing Ram. Aggression here, that's the answer. On the fade, Perfecto delivers a compulsory frag. Jax, the whole top site hinging on his aggressions. Nico at least delivers a counter headshot of his own. Very divided here from Navi, a 2-2 split. And make it three now, Boomich joins the pack. 25 and counting. They have to get that bomb down, and the bodies are dropping like flies. G2 fall. And their metal truly tested. That's 18. Nico, unless he's about to win a showstopper one on three, he can go for it. He has money to do so. He should give this one a crack. Picks up the kit. It doesn't look like he's ready for this. He's given it a go. Giving it a look. Three members of Na'Vi, they don't let these rounds slip away. Oh, and Simple gives him the Nico treatment. A quick headshot to the dome and one round away, ladies and gentlemen. One round away from Simple's first major trophy. They were down and out 14 to seven. G2 came to play on Nuke, but now Na'Vi. One round away. A prolific name in Counter-Strike. Yet to win a major, and this could be their very first. The first Counter-Strike major trophy in their gorgeous trophy room. Turning their attention towards top again. They need to lock this down, G2. They need to stop them at the door, this top setup. It's been hit and miss, but you can't miss now. Every decision these players make is make or break. Aggression here from Amanek again with the AWP taking space. It's been a recipe for success. You two lined up for the top here again and simple with some marching orders. Pressure applied here. Information gathered and Nexa going to continue forward. Deep Molly and just all this lobby pressure. That's what they're banking on. That's what they're hoping for. It's coming. And it's Jax and the lobby aggression who just doesn't seem to feel a ounce of pressure. Amanek posted up aggressive, he didn't be, he wasn't spotted, but Jax might have to react. He pushes in, Simple's waiting, it's up to Hunter, and he's delivered when it matters. Simple was low, Bomb was spotted, Electronic partners up with him, back turned, and Hunter continues to defend his honor. Three frags. G2 battling to extend play. That's a kill. Three to find. There's no way. He's not going to let it happen again. Neither is Hamanek. G2 now. One round away from forcing. There's no answer to this top aggression. There wasn't an answer in the first half for Navi. There's not an answer now in overtime. That's where the pressure is coming. All the push, all the aggression, it's Jax again, the unlikely hero of this CT side, and he has had to be exactly that. Na'Vi, the guns are out. It's the final round of play here for the first overtime. 18-18, and we do it all again. But if Na'Vi go for more of the same, G2 have the answer. G2 have their number, and Amanek, he has some information. One spotted, flash back. Plenty of smokes in this time round. A lot more of a force towards Yard. Electronics across. Have that space. Bullet shy and territory given, but Harvey, it's only electronic. It's only the one man, and, and Jax is here again. His judgment has been so good. Choosing when to push, when to wait. Simple did get him last time. 
Ooh. Kept humble. They could come for him on the end of the smoke, but no, he drops it. And that will shave 20 seconds off of the clock. They're heading ramp. It's on Nexa now. There's going to be a lot of pressure here. Tight angle. He's ahead of both. No, just the first flash. He has to accept defeat, forego control. Nico's available for this low side commit boom, which to arrive late. They've forced the rotations now. They've really softened up this top side. If they head back towards top, it could be the master call, but looks like they're hedging their bets towards ramp here. Util is very light on. A flash and a molly is all they have to work with. They need to do this with bullets. Electronic calls it clear. He's got so much control in the control room. It's just Nico. And the door swings open to draw his gaze. 30 seconds. Nico looking to activate. Takes the all three. He wants to go again. And so does Electronic, but that's surely it. G2 return the favor, and we go overtime number two. Not giving up, not letting up. this one go. No, 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 G2. Denied there through Nico with a massive 3K to lock this one down. You can see stoic as ever. Not happy about that one, job's not done. He's just doing his job. It's him at 29 and his cousin joining this and joining forces. 30 frags each. Both teams are really struggling on the T side to find answers. It might have to be the clean sweep on the CT side. It might have to be all three rounds, but this is great. The pressure was mounting. They did exactly what they wanted. They forced all the rotations, but the false information there of electronic to the coast was clear. Here we go again, back underway, 18-18. Keep track of this one as Navi scratched their head for answers. There's no coaches being able to chime in. The in-game leaders of Boomage and Nexa need to do this on their lonesome here. Nico aggression. And it's Nexa. He puts his name in the feed. He's pushing. Oh, they all are. Look at this aggression. Simple to try and clean up. Trying to get something. And he has pulled it back. Oh, no. Bit explodes into the top site. It looked brilliant for G2, but the counter from Bit, a double. They need to deal with Amanek. The bomb's still over towards Lobby. If they don't get Amanek, they can't get into top. And that well, is why Nico's taking space. Everything is in the balance, and there's the bomb drop. Amanek did it all for G2. Unbelievable scenes. He finds his voice when it matters most. This dude, a gaping chasm between him and his teammates. But those three put the first of this second overtime on the board. And look at this. This could have gone wrong in so many ways. It was just Nico and Amanek up against three, and he doesn't even need the help. You're right. Those three could better the most right there. Because now, B, what are you meant to do? They're just going to keep pushing you. They're going to keep taking the fight, and you can't stop them. Squeaky open, Molly in, same play. Spam on through, bullets exchanged. Hunter down to 24 HP, and it heats up early as they're looking for the gaps. They want to pip them. They need something to work with. Bit, he's through. He's down the vent. They've got the space that they wanted here. Electronic across yard as well, responding to this. G2 are trying to scramble across the map. They've lost so much space. Secret and vent no longer theirs. Perfect for Na'Vi now, but can they capitalize? Oh, damage has been inflicted across the board, even exchange. 24 for Hunter. Still really 70 seconds, again. they might just walk in. Spotted! Oh, Nico caught out, pantsed publicly. Nexa 2. They can surely just wrap into this site. Jax has been brilliant for him. They know he's always lingering in this hut. He's ahead of the flash. It's up to Perfecto as well to juke it out with him. He's kept him honest, but they are swarming into his site. But he's got Hunter to rely upon. Caught out now. And they know where he is. Na'Vi with a response of their own. Amanek with the AWP right now. We're good at him to save in this environment. A one on four. They had a massive round last time, but this this would be something else. Trained in, one herd, one take, and Perfecto down. That should be the round simple now, sniffing him out. Amanek looks aware, walks into the line, a side barrel spotted, Amanek misses, and that's going to be it. Simple removes the AWP, and we're keeping things level again. the way these halves have gone in OT is the T side where we've been having troubles for both of these teams. If Na'Vi can grab two, that could be the secret to the success here. The AWP back out for Amanek. There's one defuse kit bought. That's on Jax. Let's remember that as we move into this round. Already Electronic 
He's been brought low. Could be brought a whole lot lower. Entrance no passed. Entrance pass. The pass is over the smoke. He has the timing on this. They're coming in. This is fast from Na'Vi. Bursting into the site. And already the bodies are dropping. G2 needs something. Simple denies. And 20 is found. G2 disintegrate. Advantage Na'Vi. We've been here before, and here we are again. Two more rounds required for Na'Vi, and now they flip onto that CT side. How much left do G2 have? You know, at this point, what's left in the tank? Is there any gas remaining? They're calling on their individuals to step up in magic moments, and they've all had a magic moment. Make your adjustments. Get that mouse pad right. Get that headset tight. Oh. Delightful. Look how much it means to them. They are minutes away from realizing a lifelong dream. Simple dedicated his whole life. Every player on Na'Vi dedicated their life and all of their free time to this video game. And now to do what oh so few have done. Can G2 voice any concerns? Or will the undefeated Na'Vi major run really materialize? They're about to test bit. The rookie, he's it's a god time. though, he's a god. You can't trifle with him. They're gonna try. Drops his nades and drops away. No, he wants to fight. He's got the support of Simple. It's electronic elsewhere, the lurk is canceled. It's just ramp. All of G2 in this Hurt Locker now. They're dropping down, they're going into Beard and Boomish oh. is here as well. Oh. They lock them on down, it's just Amanek. This is surely it. 21 looms, it's only Amanek. And that's secured. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this could be it. The final round of Counter-Strike of PGL Stockholm Major 2021. Simple can almost feel it. Thirty-eight frags and counting for him. Sasha Kostiliev at the top of the scoreboard. Pulling Na'Vi to their first major trophy in Counter-Strike. Oh, Nico swallows two, but he still hands a headshot out. Electronics the first to fall. They'll have to do this the hard way. He's done this before in Yard on low HP. He's been able to get multiple kills and now the smokes are through the sky, about to bloom. Takes his time and the cavalry are coming. The smoke's gonna fade oh. and Simple is here. He's taken out Jax. He wants it. He might just do it. Time ticking, a missing smoke. That's Surely you don't test That's the bomb. Him. Surely you don't test him. He spots the bomb yard. They're isolated right now from one another, G2. There's two down secret and there's two maroon towards lobby. They've used a lot of utility, but they don't have space. They don't know what they're working with. It's a four on four and Simple's rotated back. Bit's already lower. How do you get down? Is it, is it a vent? To top, is it, is it a draw the rotation? There's 50 seconds, the bomb couldn't get across. They need to hope they can deal with bid to force the rotation. They're improvising for everything, all the marbles. From 14-7 to G2, all the way to 21-19. It's a 2-2 split for both of them. Simple's down towards B as well now. They're locking down either side, just playing a 2-2. Bullet shot top, 25 seconds. This is it, G2, it's do or die. He's gotten across at the bare minimum. Two players to defend. Nico has already found a frag on this low HP. He'd need another though. Bit. 10 seconds, That's neither the plan. Fall. That's oh the no, That's it's the falling fall. apart. That's gonna it's be only it. Nico, there's no time. He just has to watch that clock tick down. This is it. Navi have taken the major.